quick question have you ever been in love with a guy who's really hot and really nice and he has a dog and then you find out that he's the prince of the land that you live in and but then you also find out that he's in love with this redhead that you kind of know who's also super hot so you have to try and compete with her in some way so you have to try and like trick her into stealing her voice so that you can become as beautiful as she is so that she doesn't steal your man and then you can steal his dog i got you came to talk to you Fringe gods were not on my side today. It looks all right in the camera, but it is really not working it today. Hello and welcome back to another video. If you are new here and you haven't seen my face before, hi, my name is Willow. I'm an aspiring costume designer and I make videos on the internet in my spare time. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I love a good choker. I wear them most of the time in most of my videos. If I'm wearing jewelry or a necklace, I'm usually wearing a choker. So I thought for today's video, I'd show you a super quick, easy and fuss free way of making your own choker. So that if you have like a cute charm like this one that you want to put on a necklace, you can do that. And as I am a massive fan of The Little Mermaid and all things mermaidy, I decided to make a Ursula inspired choker or Vanessa inspired choker if you're a real Disney buff to use for Disney bounding. The charm that I've got here is actually from a choker that I bought from a company called Sour Cherry. I'll put a link to their shop in the description if you just wanted to go to that and buy some jewellery. They do some really cute stuff so I would highly recommend it. But mine unfortunately broke, the fabric snapped on it, so I had to remake it. So that's what you're seeing here today. So without further ado, let's steal some mermaids voices. Okay, so very simple choker. So all you'll really need is some cord, the charm that you would like to put on the necklace. So this little shell that I'm using here, if you want. Some scissors for various cutting things as required. And then an optional extra is a needle and thread. So step number one, we're going to measure out how much cord we're going to need. So you just take the cord and wrap it round your neck one and a half times so that there is some overlap in the cord so that it's slightly longer than what you'll need for the choker. And then you just want to hold the ends together as if it was already made and then try and take it off over your head. And this is good because it means that you're sure that the amount of cord that you need is going to get over your head because it's all very well and good making the choker but if you can't get it off there's not much point there we go so then you just want to cut the cord to the length that you've measured then what you're going to do is put the charm on the choker so just thread it onto the cord there we go lovely and then you take one side of the cord and knot it to the other side of the cord just using a simple single knot but making sure it's as close to the end of the cord as possible and making sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't come undone my camera really didn't want to um focus for this bit so i apologize if you can't see it uh but yeah um so you just want to do this on both sides so just knot the cord to the other side as well again making sure it's as close to the end of the cord as possible and you should be able to move the knot up and down to lengthen the choker as needed um, and then what you want to do is pull it out to as long as possible there we go and then you just want to try it on so as i said pull it out to as long as you can possibly make it and then slot it over your head and then using the two knots that we've made tighten it up by sliding them back along the cord this can be quite fiddly again um because it's the first time you do it it can be quite stiff and again my camera just doesn't want to focus on it at all i do apologize uh but yeah just tighten it up as much as you possibly can and then twist it round so that the knots are kind of even on both sides and the charm is in the middle there. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Stunning. Wonderful. Work it. Work it. Yes. And then as an optional extra, if you want to make sure it's perfectly secure, just take the needle and thread that I mentioned earlier, tie a knot in the end of the thread so that it's not going to come out. And then just sew 
the knot shut. So the way that you do this is taking the two outside pieces of cord in the knot. So the outer edge of it, you just want to sew those two pieces together um, so that they're securely fastened. So the knot's not going to come undone. Why does my camera not want to focus today, honestly? Um, but it's still going to move up and down the cord so you can still open and close the choker. It just means that the knot's going to the knot is not going to come undone. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Try and say that five times fast. And then you just want to knot it so it's all tied together and cut any excess as close to the knot as possible so that you don't have any sort of threads hanging around. There we go. And there you go. That is how to make this very simple, very easy, very beautiful little choker for all of your mermaid voice stealing needs. Just be careful because it may come with a side effect of being stabbed by a boat. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That way I know that you like the content that I'm making so I will make more of it in the future. If you do have a go at making one of these chokers, be sure to tag me on Instagram. That's my Instagram handle right there. I will put it on screen for you. Um, and follow me on that and all of my social media will be in the description. Uh, tag me if you make it and I will go love your pictures of it. It would be wonderful. If you wanted to comment anything you would like to see me make in the comment section down below. Also in the comment section below, tell me your favorite Disney villain death because some of them are bizarre and wonderful at the same time. So I would love to hear some of those. And as always, if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you get a notification every time I post a random video. But I think that's everything for this video. So until the next time, to thine own self be true. Bye.